hi guys so today we are going to learn about another side effect that is disposable effect as you know we are making a series on side effects in jetpack compose so for that today's topic is disposable effect so when and how and where we should be using disposable effect uh, so for example uh, when we are using some observers in our code or uh, in our composables and those need to be cleaned up after like for example you are using launch effect and you add some observer for example you have a life cycle owner and you add an observer for that uh, which going to listen to the life cycle events of on start on pause whenever there is on start on on pause on your activity but as we know like whenever there is a recomposition of a composable function that observer is going to be add again and again and to avoid such things like if you have used this in life cycle uh, sorry in launch effect then what it is going to be done like whenever there is a key change then this is going to add an observer again and again which we don't want so uh, where we use disposable effect so for the side effect that's need to be cleaned up after the key change for example there is a when there is a change in life cycle owner uh, like when there is going when it is going to uh, change for any of the event then what we need uh, we need this effect to be like uh, for this we what we need like we need this observer to be like disposed of where previous uh, observer to be disposed of and uh, we are going to uh, again restart the uh, life cycle owner so basically our observer so we are going to use disposable effect when there is uh, for the side with that needs to be cleaned up after the key change or when this composable leaves the composition when this composition exits then we need to remove this uh, uh, observer from this life cycle owner so let's check it with the example uh, in our code let's make a composable file okay so we will name it as disposable effect demo and let's make it a file and let's have a composable function function uh, disposable effect example right let's have this so in this disposable let's have our life cycle owner life cycle owner life cycle owner uh, that is from android life cycle and we can have local life cycle owner dot current right then you can have two functions um, you can check it from the official uh, you can check that from the official uh, developer android android.com or from the side effects uh, uh, the examples they, they which they have given uh, but what I'm going to do is so here what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just use a print for the listening to the events so here we have disposable effect so we are going to use disposable effect and how um, what we are going to do is we are going to have this life cycle owner as the key our our key right and for the effect let's just have this as a lambda right and we will have an observer which is going to be uh, observing the our life cycle owner so we will have life cycle uh, life cycle event observer then what we are going to do is let's have this and in life cycle observer event let's have the event and we can then check if we know if observer sorry so if 
event uh, will is equals to you know life cycle honor dot event life cycle not life cycle honor life cycle dot event let just import it and event dot on start whatever you can have on the zoom then what we are going to do is we are going to print ln on the zoom and let's try with if event it will be else if event is life cycle dot event dot on stop then we will print on stop so here we have put the observer but to just uh, uh, so we have created an observer with the life cycle event observer but now we have to add it to the life cycle owner as well so for this let's do one thing in the what uh, we what we have to do is life cycle owner dot life cycle dot add observer and we are going to add this observer wait a minute i think i am uh, yeah we need to do it outside this we need to add this observer and also uh, the, with the disposable effect what we have to do is we have to write like when we want to uh, every time there is a key change uh, in the life cycle owner then we also want uh, after listening to the events uh, we also want this observer to uh, on dispose we also want to remove this observer from the life cycle owner so life cycle owner dot life cycle dot remove observer so what we will do is we are going to remove this observer so this is how it, it will work like so uh, if you want you know like when there is a change in the life cycle on uh, event observer or uh, sorry in the life cycle owner so whenever there is an on start on stop is called then what we are what we are doing first of all we have added this observer and uh, for the, this composable it is going to listen and when there is whenever this composable is going to uh, like stop uh, it, when this composable is going to leave this leave the composition then what we are doing we are removing this uh, observer so that it won't listen again so this is how we use disposable effect and let me try it with uh, let's just put it here what we have named it as disposable effect example let's run it so wha what we are doing here is so we are adding an observer and we are removing observer with the help of on dispose so whenever there is a key change in the life cycle what it is going to do every time it is going to uh, add a new observer and it uh, when there is when uh, and it is going to again remove the observer for that event and when and when there is a new event then it is go again going to add the observer and it is going to restart the uh, the observer so for example if you be open this again side effects in the compose so in the documentation in the code above the effect will add the observer to the life cycle owner yeah if the life cycle owner changes the effect is disposed and we started with the new life cycle owner so this is how it is going to do so we have added the life cycle owner and then let's see it is printing yeah on stop is called yes and again just open it it will call the on the zoom is called 
so if we have multiple composables and when our this composable uh, is going to leave the composition then it won't listen to it listen to it and because we have put it in disposable effect so so guys this is how we should be using the disposable effect in jetpack compose and you can learn more about it from the developer.android.com composable side effects and try it and uh, use it and let us know uh, if you have any doubts about it so this is all for today guys this is it for disposable effect and do let me know if you want me to make some videos on any specific topic till then like comment and subscribe thank you bye